What's up, dudes? Here's the next one that we got. It's very similar to the, the quick one, and I'm actually just going to be doing this one for you really quickly. Um, M, M minus N equals 5, and also 2M plus 4N equals 16. And what we want to find is we don't want to figure out what M is. We don't want to figure out what N is. We, what we want to do is we want to figure out what M plus N is. Okay? Now, one way you can do it. I'm sorry, this is too high. You can't even see that. M minus N equals 5. So that's the first equation. All right. One way you could do it is you could solve these two problems using substitution or simultaneous equations. After that, you could get um, M, you could get N, you could add those two numbers together, and you can get your answer. Um, I have a question for you. Looking at this, do you think maybe substitution or addition, addition subtraction? I agree. I agree with you in, totally in addition subtraction. I could multiply the top by 2. And then, and then uh, change the sign on one of them. It doesn't matter which one. And then add them together, and I'll get n all by itself. And then I could solve for n and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, the reason why I haven't solved this yet is because I'm thinking, I think I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to just say, let's, um, what's the best way to go about doing this? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add them straight up. Let me show you what's going on. So I want to figure out what m plus n is. Equals what? All right. I'm just going to add them straight up. Okay? That gives me 3m plus 3n equals 21. Cool? I'm going to divide by 3. I get m plus n equals 7. Hey, I solved exactly what they wanted me to solve to begin with. So, I'm showing you a trick here. You can choose to choose use that trick, or you can do it the slow way. I'll be perfectly honest with you, now that I've just finished showing you this trick, I kind of regret showing you the trick, because what I would rather you do is just do it the slow way and then get the same answer. Um, but, hey, there's the trick. The reason why I would go about showing you the slow way is because on the test that you're taking, they give you enough time to solve the pro all the problems doing the slow way, not the extremely slow way, you know what I mean? But maybe you might have to take more time on one problem than this one. So maybe you might want to know how to do it the fast way. I'll be honest with you, it takes a lot of practice to know just to add them and see what happens. Uh, if I were you and you are feeling like this is the beginner version, like you, you're, you're just learning about addition, subtraction, or substitution method, I would just use that. I wouldn't worry about what I just showed you. Cool?